All right, guys, there's my front end. I'm gonna attack this and then I'll explain to you how I got it and what I did. So let me go ahead and tack this thing up. All right, guys, this is what I did. So underneath here, I welded uh, some six by six uh, quarter inch plate and I welded my beams coming down. I welded a beam coming across and I welded up a little nub in there for my axle, okay? This is my whole axle for the wheels. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be where I can actually move it, where it's so heavy. So I welded me a piece of pipe, go through there, as you see, and I welded that on top. So most of your weight, once your wheel's on, it's going to stick up. That's just to keep it from falling completely out. And uh, what I'll do, since it is pretty tight, is I'm going to cut these corners at an angle. Uh, let me see if I can show you here. So I'll cut these quarters, corners at an angle just so these metal beams won't be catching. Ideal would be this bar here underneath would have this big washer underneath there but it wouldn't fit over top so I just uh, put one on top just so it wouldn't fall through but that would be ideal one on the bottom so it, it would bring it up away from this a little bit and something on top just to hold it from falling out so that's the gist of it nothing it's nothing spectacular it's just enough to let me be able to turn the wheels whenever I need to move the hearse so I probably need to weld some kind of stop out here and goes down so the wheels will only go so far so I might end up doing that because I don't need them wheels going completely underneath the all crooked and stuff I'm not sure yet how I'm gonna do it but anyway maybe I'll just leave it like that but anyway, I hope you guys uh, kind of see my mechanism there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld a bar from back here to the bottom of that wood thing there. I'll put a piece of plate, if you can see it, I'll put a piece of plate up there and uh, I'll weld me a 45, 45 or whatever it is and screw it into that there on each side so you don't have a uh, bunch of weight trying to back and forth, back and forth on this thing. It'll be sturdy. And uh, then we're ready to put tires on it. I still got those two. I got to glue up and uh, screw together and paint. That's it. And uh, this thing be ready to rock and roll. I'll have to weld me a couple little things here somewhere on, on each side to where I can attach some wood and be able to put it on the horse. Other than that, I think she's looking pretty good. For never done this before but but I wanted to share that with you I won't go ahead and, and snipe these things off here with a torch or something and uh, just so in the beginning what, what I start what I did in, in the begin with which I should have kept it at that but I welded everything kind of wrong is I cut this uh, inch and a half piece of metal in almost in half and I bent it so let me see if I can show you so my metal instead of being level it was bent up like that and the reason I did that was so when something like that bolt would set on it it was just going to hit that area there instead of the rest of it and I wouldn't have had to go through all this and I welded it not thinking anything about it so I wish I would have kept it that way I mean I could still go back and cut it and, and uh, bend this down and re-weld it if I want to which I might do I might just cut it up each side and uh, hammer it down and uh, re-weld it back up I don't know yet I'm trying I'm afraid to because uh, I had to cut out a hole in the bottom and I cut all a hole in the top I'm afraid to do too much on it and uh, ruin the integrity of that metal so much so I might just leave it as is it's, it's not hurting anything it's doing what I'm what I wanted to do right now so I could be fine
Ooh. Yeah, it's too hot. All right, guys, there it is on the dead sled. That's my, how I'm gonna turn my wheel. <laughs> I'm not sure once I get all the weight on it, how it's gonna turn out, but I think it'll be fine. All right, guys, we'll see you in a bit. I'm gonna put these wheels on here and then uh, we'll do a, a walk around on this thing. Now, I still gotta put glass and all that stuff in it, but I wanted to show you my front end here, how I welded it up and stuff. This thing welded up, painted in front, and it'd be done. big enough washer to go here. I had a big washer to go here. That way uh, this axle wouldn't hit none of this. But that's fine. It's no big deal. I'll just whack it off. Call it done. Let's get the get the grounding. So this is the front, guys, and that's how I, I just built a box, put me a round, welded a round piece of pipe on a uh, three quarter inch onto an inch, put me a big washer on top, welded that, and that's how it turns. Now I started to bend this at an angle like that, so this would not hit none of these corners, but I welded it wrong to begin with and uh, I just didn't go back and do it. So I'm gonna cut these corners off just a little bit so they're not catching the corners. And we should be fine on that. And uh, get this all painted up. And then what I might end up doing is I might be end up putting a piece of spider web in this somehow or another. Just cover up the ugly. Like I need more projects to do. Alrighty then, now. 
All right, guys, so that should have done it. I hope so, anyway. Oh, yeah, perfect. All right. So, let me cut that little snibbling off of there. That thing looks like crap. That's just a well drip. It got too, too hot. Yeah, there we go, guys. That's pretty doggone good to me. All right. So now we need to weld a couple uh, pieces of flat stock on here where I can put two two handles on it. So we're able to steer this sucker. So what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna weld two things on here, two pieces of iron wire. And what that's gonna serve as will be for uh, the handles. Whenever I go to put handles on this, so I'll put these at a certain angle and uh, don't have to be any particular angle that I know of, but uh, that way the handle can't go up no further. But we uh, want to be able to move it down and back and forth if we need to. That's the only way I know to do it. If that doesn't work out, what I'll do is I'll cut a chunk of this out and do a wacky deer or whatever. Yeah, I need to get a two by two in there. There you go, guys. Yeah, that's pretty much done. Put some paint on that. And uh, oops, we'll get some uh, two by fours and uh, put in there. Or two by twos. Anyway, I'll put that on there. Anyway, guys, that'll go where our two by twos go. We drill a hole in that, drill a hole in that, so your handles can move up and down. And that'll be able for us to move the handles up and down. So that's kind of the only way I know at this point. 
and plus we can steer it with that and uh, that was my whole main thing is this thing being able to steer uh, the reason why I wanted to steer is because it's kind of heavy and for me to pick this thing up and try to maneuver anything in the front end or anywhere else it wasn't going to happen so I'd rather for it to steer so I think we we've knocked that off pretty good the steers steers fine so I'm really really pleased with that I'm surprised I figured something out uh, we got stabilization bars there so this thing isn't going to go anywhere uh, like I said I might end up putting a spider web front grill thing on this just so you're not seeing emptiness in the back but then again who knows what I'm going to do it's hard to tell all right well let's get these painted and we'll put these handles on later you don't have to see all that uh, once I get it all completed and get it started getting it loaded up I'll, I'll uh, video me loading it up but we got a 16 foot trailer i hope i can get this and the horse on there i think i'm right at 16 am i right at 20 feet so it's going to be interesting uh but this thing here in itself is six eight i can't remember anyway it's it's freaking long all right Okay, there she, that's done. 